the same aerodynamic design as the MiG-21, but the Sukhoi Su-9 was not as famous as its brother, with a number of only 1,150 units. The Sukhoi Su-9, also known by NATO as the Fish Boat, was a single-engine, all-weather, missile-armed interceptor aircraft developed by the Soviet Union. During the Korean War, the MiG-15 proved an excellent platform, becoming an inspiration for Soviet engineers to continue developing more capable types. After extensive aerodynamic testing of various design elements in Florentine supersonic flight, in 1959, the Sukhoi Su-9 was officially put into service. In practice, the aircraft proved capable, though it suffered from a limited weapon set and equally limited operational ranges. The Su-9 was developed around the same time as the Su-7, so they shared the same design features. The Su-9's fuselage and tail surfaces resembled those of the Su-7, but unlike the square wing of that aircraft, the fish port used a 53 delta wing with conventional slab tailplanes. It shared Sukhoi features like the rear fuselage air brakes as well as the Su-7's Liuka AL-7 turbojet engine and nose intake. The translating shock cone contains the radar set. The delta wing of the Su-9 was adopted because of its lower track in the supersonic flight regime. Its greater volume also allowed a very modest increase in fuel capacity compared to the Su-7. The Su-9 was capable of Mark 1.8 at altitude, or about Mark 1.14 with missiles. Its fuel fraction remained minimal, however, and operational radius was limited. Furthermore, rotation speeds were even higher than the Su-7 which was already height at 360 km per hour. Unlike the Su-7, which had very heavy controls but dorsal handling characteristics, the fish port had light and responsive controls but was very unforgiving of pilot error. The Su-9 has been frequently mistaken for the MiG-21 due to the many similarities in design. The primary distinguishing factors are size and the Su-9's bubble canopy. The Su-9 had primitive R-1L radar in the SOCON and was armed with four K-5 beam riding air to -air missiles. Like all beam riders, the K-5 was so limited as to be nearly useless for air-to-air -air combat. Unlike the Su-7, a later Su-15, no sooner carried cannon armament, although two fuselage pilots were reserved for a carriage of drop tanks. Power was supplied through the fitting of a single Liuka AL-7 series turbojet engine of 19,840 power thrust with a service range equal to 700 miles and a service length of 55,000 feet. Rate of climb was excellent at 27,000 feet per minute. The power qualities of the Su-9 was quite good for as an interceptor the tap was expected to reach operating altitudes within minutes, fly to target's area, engage and destroy enemy area targets. The Su-9 series managed only a short operational lifespan with the Soviet Air Defense Forces for a technological advancements, quickly sheltered the tap from frontline service. 
none were exported to any of the USSR's client states, nor to the Warsaw Pact nations. Remaining Sioux Knights and later Sioux Elevens were retired during the 1970s. Some were retained as test vehicles or are converted to remote piloted vehicles for use as unmanned aerial vehicles. It was replaced by the upgraded Su-11 and the much superior Su-15 Flagon and MiG-25 Foxpact.